For Daryl Patterson with some running room and look out. The big fellas across the 50. Yo guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Bears prediction video. Uh, this week we have the New Orleans Saints. I'm joined by Zach as always. Zach, how are you? I am good. How are you? I'm still pretty upset, Zach. It's been, you know, less than 24 hours after last night's just abysmal performance against the Los Angeles Rams. But aside from that, let's look towards this week. The Saints are no easy task ahead. You know, a team that we've lost to the last five years or the last five times we played them. What are some early keys that you see for this for the Bears on offense? Run the ball effectively. And that's the problem, Zach. I'm going to stop you there for a second. We are again facing one of the better run defense in the league. Go ahead. I know. Like, the um, Saints only have allowed 89.7 rushing yards um, per game right now. Um, but it's you have to be able to yeah. at least... Like, I'm not saying go out there and rush for 150, 200. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying at the start of the game, first quarter, we run and we get that run game going to the point where the Saints are going to have to be like, okay, hey, Montgomery or maybe um lamar miller comes in there maybe who knows like okay their run game is actually picking up has picked up right now we have to contain that and so that will open up the play action and the passing game for nick Foles. that's what we need to have i'm not saying we rush for 150 200 because that's unrealistic yeah right we, we just have to somehow establish somewhat of a run game uh as of right now i believe cody white here i think he said he's all right from what i read from Nagy. Hopefully, because, you know, his backup is James Daniels, who's out for the year. So the center that we had come in was like an undrafted rookie, I believe. I mean, the run game is just, there's so many issues. The first thing is the fact that last night we were running the ball at Aaron Donald every single play. And I just did not understand that whatsoever. But like Zach said, you know, we have to establish somewhat of a run game. I just, you know, I, again, and the offensive line seems to give Foles no time. Uh, I saw a stat that Foles had the least amount of time out of any quarterback in the NFL last week. You hope we can be better than that. Um, there's just still, the thing that kills me, Zach, first off, I want to give a shout out to Darnell Mooney because Darnell Mooney's been a stud and one of the only bright spots on offense. But we have Anthony Miller, you know, hopefully Allen Robinson's going to be all right. Darnell Mooney, you know, Jimmy Graham, Cole Komet. There, there, there's talent on this offense. Yeah, I mean, Komet, I mean, Dude, you and Komet, I will be, man. <laughs> we'll be the first to say. I was that, so like, wrong. We were wrong about Komet. I was I mean, so like, wrong. We figured Komet was going to go out. I mean, we were on a dope pit. Komet's looked really good. We we were in Carolina for his first touchdown, mm -hmm. which was a great catch. That was made so a great cool. catch again against the Rams. Um, I just. I don't know why we're playing as Demetrius Harris, dude, or whatever his name is, <laughs> but it's absolutely it. I mean, he had like seven targets in the at the Carolina game when we went, and Komet had like three, and Komet yeah. caught all three. He caught zero. Like, it's just outrageous. Yeah, Harris had another drop last night early on, too. I think the key for me here is going to be our defense versus their offense. You know, uh, as of right now, Michael Thomas, I believe, may not play, which is crazy to think about. Uh, Manuel Sanders had COVID, so he's still on the COVID list. I don't know. You'd assume he's going to be good to go. Uh, but, you know, a battle between one of the better offenses, obviously, when they're clicking and, you know, our defense. I think the player that we have to focus on here, of course, is Alvin Kamara. And, you yeah. know, passing, you know, rushing. I mean, he does it all. Yeah, I mean, Russian, we're 16th in the league for <laughs> just the least so amount of rushing so yards. So I mean, bad. defense like how we have, we yeah. shouldn't be. No, man. that eighth for passing defense yeah. i mean hopefully we would be able to shut down kamar i mean obviously you don't want to see anybody injured michael thomas i mean hopefully he gets better and stuff no. but if he if he wants to just rest up one more week i mean we wouldn't <laughs> say no so yeah. we we also have to stop giving up penalties we lead the league in defensive penalties and it just kills us if you go back and look at our drives you know 95 percent of the drives where the team goes down the, the down the field and scores either a touchdown or a field goal is because we're giving up penalties. So we got to cut down on that. And then of course, when you look at the Saints defense, you know, the Saints defense has really underperformed this year. Um, normally one of the better defenses in the league. And I think that's honestly why the Saints haven't been, you know, great this year. They just really haven't gotten things going on defense. There's still tons of talent, especially across the secondary. It's just, Zach, this is a game we need to win, man. We got Tennessee the week after that. The schedule's not getting any easier. This is a big game. The thing that really needs to step up is our special teams. I yeah. mean, Cairo, uh, oh, his God. part has been amazing. But 
for our punt return. Ted Ginn, I had, swear to God. Go ahead. We had we had seven attempts on punt returns, five fair catches. How many yards on those seven attempts do you think we have for punt returns? I don't even want to know. 30 yards. We're averaging 4.3 yards per attempt on a punt return compared to our kickoffs, where we're averaging 27.6. Yeah. It's just, guys, I, I can't watch Ted Ginn go out there again for another punt return. I know Dwayne Harris had his workout today, and I'm hoping that we do sign him. You know, he's gone through all the COVID protocol, so he could be with us this week. I just, I, I never want to see Ted Ginn on the field ever again. The dude's literally just collecting a check at this point. Uh, another thing to kind of talk about, because this has been like one of the major talking points after Monday Night Football, is Matt Nagy and his play calling. You know, this is something that you and I have talked about forever. It's just, you know, we all thought Nick Foles would come in there and it'd be a different offense, but it doesn't matter if, you know, Nick Foles, Mitchell Trubisky, freaking Patrick Mahomes at this point is playing quarterback for the Bears. Matt Nagy is just killing our team with his play calls. He is just, you know, it's week in, week out, the same exact thing. I know he said today that he's not willing to give up the play calls quite yet, but uh, what, what's it going to take? Is it going to be too late? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, we I've called for his head on a stake before. Yeah. I'm one of the bigger Matt Nagy needs to give up either the play calling or just get leave. Yeah. Um, I mean, I said that Nagy should have left before Mitchell last year. Um, I just think Nagy needs to man up i mean this man you look back two years ago he's calling in all these trick plays he's no. we're, our offense is doing good with mitchell i mean granted nick Foles and mitchell are two completely different quarterbacks in their play style but it's just like we know that Nagy can actually do something productive and good with our offense i mean like the offense isn't much different from 2018 yeah. and it's just frustrating and let's not so, forget I mean, when he came in zach he was considered like an offensive guru you know came from Andy Reid's system. And I, I think honestly, it's kind of an ego thing where he's not willing to give up the play calls. That or we really don't have a better option at play calling, which is on him again. So we'll see what happens here. You know, we need a big comeback win Sunday versus the Saints. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Zach? No, I mean, just bear down, hopefully. I mean- Predictions? Prediction? Oh God. Uh, predictions. I think I'm usually a high, higher scoring game. Okay. I usually say I feel like this time I'm going to go with a lower scoring game. Okay. I'm going to go 21 to 17. Okay. I like it. Bears Bear win, Bears obviously. Win. Okay. Yeah, hey, we're Bears fans. What are you going to say? Anyway, guys, exactly. make sure you do drop a like. Make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Check out Zach down below. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.